Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Charbroil Big Easy Oil Less Liquid Propane Turkey Fryer, get a 20% off the link in description, this is only available for a few days, and better hurry up. This review by Armadillo Pepper Barbecue. Let's go to the video. Hey, welcome. My name is Jeff with Armadillo Pepper, the hot sauce and barbecue sauce jerky and fiery snack store. It's the day after Christmas, and today we're going to cook a fryer in one of these charcoal big easy oilless fryers. That's right. There's no oil at all required for this guy. It's propane heated. Um, it is a much safer and much healthier way to fry your turkey. The first thing we're going to do is prep the turkey and then we'll put it in our big easy uh, turkey fryer. All right, I've got a 12 pound turkey. Now, what we're going to do is a few things to prepare this turkey. First thing I'm going to do is inject it with this Stubbs Butter uh, marinade. This stuff is awesome. We've used it in the past on turkey breasts. Then once I've injected it, I'm going to just lightly oil it down. Uh, this will do two things for us. One, it'll help the dry rub and seasoning stick, and then also it'll give it a little bit more crispy uh, texture on the outside of the turkey when we put it in the uh, turkey fryer. Now the rub I like to use for turkey is this Tennessee Whiskey Goblin Good Turkey Rub. It's got a nice blend of seasonings. It includes rosemary, thyme, sage, paprika, sugar, kosher salt, lemon peel, garlic, onion, parsley, and some Jack Daniels Black Label Whiskey. All right, if you've never injected a turkey, please don't worry about this. It's very easy to do, especially if you use one of these uh, prepared uh, marinades. What I'm going to do is put it in a cup. It just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, by the way, this Stubbs uh, butter injectable comes with the injector, everything you need. Let me take off the uh, cover off the end of the needle. And then I try to minimize the number of external holes. So you can use the same hole and inject marinade in several locations of the turkey. This takes maybe three to five minutes. It's a very quick process. The next thing we're going to do is just oil it down. Then I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll apply some of this uh, goblin good turkey rub. All right. Got a flip top lid here, I believe. Once you put this oil on, this rub will stick quite nicely. All right, we're ready to move this over to the oilless fryer. We're ready to put the turkey in the big easy oilless fryer. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put the turkey in the basket. You wanna place it in, breast side up. Okay. It's all ready to go in the, into the fryer. All right, we're ready to put our turkey in the fryer. You just take this basket, Down inside the Big Easy, there's only two controls on this thing. Turn the propane on, and 
it started. That's it. No temperature controls. It can't get much easier than that. So what I have read says about 10 minutes a pound. Um, so I'm budgeting maybe uh, two hours. We'll see. Um, the important thing is you want to make sure that the internal temperature of the turkey reaches 165 degrees. All right, it's a little dark here. It's been two and a half hours, and uh, I've checked the temperature a couple times. Let's lift this bird out. I don't know if you can see it there in the video. It looks nice. I'll try to get a better picture inside. Just going to check the temperature. Right at 165. Let's check another spot. Okay. All right, this bird is ready. I'll try to get a picture for you inside where you can uh, see the color of this bird a little bit more clearly. There's the color of the bird. You can see the nice seasoning on the outside. It's all nice and brown. I'm gonna try this guy out. <laughs> 